Hey guys, it is Wednesday, December 4th, and it is, gosh, 8 o'clock at night. I know it's not like me to be up here that late, but um, I didn't get to come up to my art room today, and I just need to do some something. I don't know what something. So I have three somethings in front of me, and I thought I would just turn the camera on while I do it. And you can join in and watch me. I don't know how much talking I'll do because it's, you know, it's kind of late for me anyway. And um, I really don't know. I don't have a plan. I just have sort of a, sort of an idea. And so I'll either fast forward or I'll just play through. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, the th three things I have in front of me are, um, let's see. Well, first of all, uh, we got snow last night. So it's been snowy here today. And then it turned icy and slushy with wherever the snow is melting on the roads from the traffic. And um, we went out to the store and it was rather slippery on the back roads that we take because we live, you know, kind of, it's kind of rural, but not real rural. It's kind of mid-rural. rural. <laughs> anyway, um, but we had a nice little slide coming up to the stoplight behind a vehicle and and my husband veered to the right. He had the vehicle under control because we were going really slow, but you know, it was sliding. So he just sort of moved up to the side. The guy behind us was going too fast and he was sliding and, but he missed us, he didn't hit us. So nobody was hurt, nobody got hit, but it just, oh, it just made me tense. So by the time we got home, I was just, my head was hurting. <laughs> so I, I didn't really get up here and do any art today. So it's been very cold and, um, locked up again in my house so let's see what else um, the purple piece that I did yesterday and I put up the video called purple hates me I looked at it today it was brighter today because of all the snow it was rather white you know bright outside I looked at it closer and oh my goodness close up it really it's really quite beautiful um, if you if you come in close, I took a picture of it. I don't have it up here right now, but let's say, let's pretend that this is the piece. If you look at it just like this, you see all this busyness around here, and your focus isn't directly on what's going on here. But if you take a picture and you zoom in and you crop it down to this, and you just take away anything on the outside and you just look right here, it's very, very pretty. And so I'm still not sure what to do with it because I don't want to mess it up, but I do think it needs more. I just don't know what. Um, I am going to put a picture on Facebook so those of you on my Facebook page can see a close-up of it because I think on camera you can't really see exactly what I'm seeing in person but I think I might can capture it in photo if I get a good enough day to get outside and take pictures. The picture I took today was inside um, so I think I can get a better shot once I can get outside and take photos. I have to wait till it's not windy and, and snowy though and there's some sun. Um, so I thought I'd fill you in on that. I'm still going to do more to it. I just don't know what, but I really liked it more today than I did yesterday. It was really quite beautiful. So what else? Um, let's talk about what we're going to do here. There's three things sitting here. One, this is a book that I made using envelopes and it's using the technique that Victor showed us with, um, how he bound his little journal together. He used fabric tape that is for like bandaging and stuff. I didn't have any, so I just created, created my own fabric tape with fabric and ran it through the Xyron and put my envelopes together. So it's just a little journal and I'm going to cover it. So that's sitting here. Um, I didn't think to make sure that my papers matched my, that'll work. Um, so that's an option to work on. The other option is I have two toilet paper rolls sitting here. The fabric strips that I created and I put the video up for you guys, um, the two wider ones, I need to wrap them around something to send them off. And I had thought about using toilet roll, um, toilet rolls and creating like a, a piece to wrap them around. And then Phoebe and I were chatting in, um, the comments and she suggested using toilet roll pay, um, cardboard toilet rolls for like a piece to wrap it around and I thought well that's 
a good enough idea for me, so we're going to go with that because she suggested it and I was thinking about it, so it must be a good idea. So what I'm going to do is create that, and I just brought out some scraps to create it because I don't want to make it real busy because it's going to be something's going to be wrapped around it. But when you take off the the fabric, I thought these could be tags, so I pulled this out. This is my inspiration piece right here, this little piece of ribbon, and I'm just going to insert it in here. I'm going to glue this all down, then I'm going to create a tag around this ribbon. And this is the paper I chose. So we'll see what happens with that. And so then when you take off the fabric, you'll have a tag. So it's like two in one. So that's an option. The other option was, um, I haven't done a happy mail project for you and you guys in a while, and I wanted to do one. And I had pulled this envelope out a few weeks ago to try to do one and something happened and I didn't get to but I wanted to create something with this happy mail that came from Stacy Manuel and I already cut the envelope open because I was going to use this as the oops, I was going to use this as the background I keep showing the address I keep showing the address so I have to, to edit that out and turn the envelope over I'm sorry about that um, so I thought I would start creating some of the Happy Mail projects in my little Dilutions journal, the smaller envelopes, um, either one or two page spreads. So that's out, because I haven't started using this journal yet, and I want to. So that's an option. So as I'm sitting here talking, I'm thinking that what I want to do first is this, because this is more urgent. It has to be, it's not urgent, but it has to be sent out fairly soon. So I think I'll go ahead and work on this. And then I'll get to these if I have more time. I'm Right now I'm in the mood to create art all night long. I don't think I will because I'll get tired. But I am I need to just relax and, I don't know, this is a good way to do it. So, first thing I'm going to do is decide how much of a ribbon I want for my tag. And I think that's good. So... I need my scissors. I don't have my scissors. Like I said, I wasn't really prepared. Before. I wasn't sure what exactly I was going to do. I just knew I was going to do something. So I may have to jump up and down and get a few things every now and then. Um, and well, that's about right. We'll just leave it like that. I took the toilet rolls and I've, you know, took a bone folder and really tried to press down the edges so that it would be more flat because when I glue it together it's uh, it's going to be hard to keep flat. I think what I might do is try to stick a strip of tape in here though to hold it down and help with the glue. So let's see if that'll work. Mm, this is almost gone. I might as well use the rest of this up. Uh, I always knock my heat gun off. I've tried to raise the camera angle up a little bit. I'm going to try and stay more in frame for you guys. I seem to be getting out of frame a lot lately, and I think it's because my camera got moved around or something um, on the tripod, so I changed the angle just a little bit and raised you up a little bit, so we'll see. Hopefully you're not just seeing apron, which is right here. See my messy apron? I have my messy apron. Let me show you. <laughs> That's my apron. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Let's get a piece that's about that long. Just stick it right there. Just stick it in the middle. And let's do this side. I didn't tell you guys in the last two videos I did. Um bit me. <laughs> he didn't do it on purpose to be mean, but he has trouble with, I guess his vision is not as good as it used to be, but he still loves his food. He loves to eat, and when I give him a treat, which I do often, he, um, before I get it down to his mouth, he snaps at me. He snaps at it to try to grab it, as if he's not going to get it. I don't know why he does that. Maybe he's, I don't know, he's... He doesn't do it as much when, the, when Bailey's not around. And Bailey doesn't take his food, so I don't know what his deal is, but I think it's his vision. Anyway, I was reaching down to give him a snack, and before I could get it to his mouth, 
he snapped up at me and he grabbed hold of my thumb. And right there, you can see the little scar. Well, I don't know if you can or not, little scar right there. Hold on a second. Yeah, sorry about that interruption. I tell you, there's nothing like getting att attention if, until, in, um, attention of any kind. Just turn on your camera. You get all the attention you want. <laughs> While I was down there, I picked these back up and brought them upstairs. They're downstairs because I need to take photos. But I finished the spool um, for these. And what I did was just paint it and stamp on it. It's simple, very simple. And it can be added to, whoever gets it can add to it. So that's gonna go in there. Um, and then I brought these up, because I'm just gonna measure. This is a little big. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work on this. Yeah, it'll work. It'll be big, but it's okay. All right, so. What was I doing? I was telling you about Buster. He bit me. Anyway, this is healed because this, this happened about a week ago. And I had a Band-Aid on for, gosh, two or three days. I kept breaking it open because everything you do touches here. And it's like I kept bumping it. And it bled and bled and bled and bled. And it was pretty deep. But the little guy just bit me good. Oh, my see. I need some glue. I'm going to get some Elmer's glue just for the fun of it. And let's pull the tape off inside here. Feels kind of weird uh, filming at night when it's dark. I don't know how the lighting is in here for you guys. But hopefully it's good enough. And then let's make the loop how we want it. Um, This is good, I think. Just gonna put a bunch of glue once I can get it come out. Oh, it's clogged. Everything gets clogged. I haven't used this one since my friend was here, I don't think. This was a new bottle when she came and now it's down to here. She used a ton of glue. What's her on her step? Oh my goodness. Let's see what's going on. Well, I can't see, so we'll just keep squeezing. There we go. All right. Drop the glue down in there. it together. Now the tape's going to help hold it and whatever glue squeezes out we can wipe up and it'll dry clear. And they should stay together pretty good actually. Got my apron on. Just wipe that off of my apron. And I would set something heavy on this to let it dry while I'm working on the other one. And let's see what I use. My paint. I've got a I've got an old tin container that they used to bake in years ago. I don't know. I, th I guess the enamel. I don't know. Anyway, I will set it down on top of that. That's really heavy. Well, actually, it's not touching though. There. All right. I was just going to cover with these with paper, but then I thought, no, 
I want them to be able to be used as a tag when the fabric's removed. So kind of, you know, a double whammy. You get two for the price of one, so to speak. So that's why we're doing this. I'll go ahead and stick the ribbon on here. Now, we might have to let this sit for another while. Depends on what the other one's doing. needs to stay together for a while. So let's stick these under the tin. Let them sit like that. Okay, put this over here and put this out of the way. Now while we're waiting on that, let's work on this little book here. use this paper pad. I want to use up some paper pads that I have. I'm hoping that it looks okay enough with the, the binding. It may, may not. I don't know. This is just a trial run. I just wanted to try the technique. So I'm just going to try it. You know, it may, it may not show because I'm going to go up to the edge there. And these are pockets, the ends cut off. I'm going to seal this down a little bit with some glue. use glue. I may. I may use glue. Alright, first thing I'm going to do front and back. So I want to take those out so I don't use them by accident. 
rest, it doesn't really matter. Look at this tape. Tape and a little glue down here, I think. And I want something here to keep me from taping things together. Um, I need something. What do I need? A piece of paper. I'll use this. stop here and go back to the toilet rolls. I keep calling them toilet rolls. Toilet paper rolls. <laughs> okay, I'll let those sit for a while. Let's see what we got over here. The glue seep through. That's okay. Sticking good enough. Okay. Can drink water? Okay. First I'm going to throw some paint down here, or maybe I'll spray, I don't know. I've done a lot of spraying lately. Maybe I'll just do some paint. Um, let's start with what? What, what, what?
<laughs> I must like this color. I have two of them. And I just bought another one because they're low. I thought I thought I had one that was running out. I thought it was almost gone. So I must like this color. Okay. Find my brush. My crackling falling apart brush. I used to not use this. I don't know why all of a sudden I've started using it. It needs to just go ahead and be peeled off. I think I may do that right now. Hold on one second. I can get it all off right away. So it's going to wind up being that color. I'm going to paint that when it's all off. See, it keeps falling off even as I paint. have to be perfectly painted because there's going to be paper put over it and more paint and stain and whatever so if it's not completely um, painted it'll be alright And center the um, t the tab, this thing ribbon, completely either, which is okay too. To keep from being um, too difficult and taking too long, because this is not the main project. The main project was the fabric. This is just a conduit to carry it. Um, I'm going to do it the same on both of them. They may not come out exactly the same, but I'm going to give it the same base color. Don't you love this color blue? It's called Spa Blue by Americana. I love this color. on our way home from the store today. I don't drive in this weather. I don't go out. But my husband was home working and at lunch he wanted to go to the store because of course we didn't do it the day before the weather hit bad. Um, on our way home there's a pond there's a there's a pond in, on both in, uh, the entrance and the other entrance of our area where we live and when it rains a lot or it gets cold and, and um, freezes and floods because of water, there's water buildup in several areas where they have drainage that looks like ponds, even though it's not a pond, it just looks like a pond for a while, which is really cool and pretty. The ducks love it and the geese love it. I love it when it happens like that. But we came back and there were ducks out there in the water just swimming around having a good old time in the freezing, freezing cold water. And I just think that is amazing. I mean, my, my goodness. How they stand it, I just don't know, but I think it's cool. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. I think I'll leave this one alone. It's actually kind of pretty. I think I won't touch it. Let's find something else to clean up with. How about my towel? Where's it at? Right here.
to dry these a little bit before we get started. Okay. Done some drying. Now I've got scraps here. These are just punches, you know, things I've punched or die cut. Um, and this is just one of those Studio 112 cardstock die cut papers. This is only half uh, one side of it. There's two sides. And I pulled it off just to use just to play with. Be glad when this Mod Podge is gone. Get me a small jar and start putting it in there. if I hear the TV or if it's um, ducks and geese flying over. They do that at night a lot. It's like they're through doing whatever they're doing around here and then they take off to go wherever they go. I love to watch them fly over. I think they're just beautiful. And when the babies start showing up, oh, so cute. for just a second. Let's put something on this one. Um, actually, I'll just wrap it around. when the cars drive by it sounds like they're coming down a rock road it's not a rock road it sounds like they're gonna come right into my room and I'm upstairs sure this is down really good. It's going to get more coats than it, de it deserves, but because <laughs> um, I'm going to put more on top of it. that sit off the side for a minute. I'll put it right here. Well, I was going to put it right there. There we go. Alright. Next one. I 
I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm not talking much. It's getting that time of night. Just kind of want to be quiet, I guess, but. We're just going to keep going. Maybe I'll play music for you. Okay. Set that off to the side for a second. Let it fall in the water and clean this up a little bit. stay clean doing this stuff, but I can't. All right, let's see. Go back to the first one. And let's see what we need to do. Um, 
this partial flower on the back. Well, I guess it's the back. It could be the front. Just depends on how you look at it. I'm going to save it for last. I need to turn it over and do something over here. Alright, i got to dry a little bit, so I will be back. Oops.